Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on rounding a number to the nearest whole, 10, 100 or 1000. Now the key is to first identify the particular digit we're interested in. Now if we're rounding to the nearest whole, a whole is referring to the units digit, so this digit here, so I'm going to underline this. Whereas this, if I'm rounding this to the nearest 100, the 100 digits is here, so I'm going to underline this. Now what we do is we always look just after that underlined digit to the right. Now if that digit after is five or more, then this is going to round up and that's going to go up from three to four. But if this is not five or greater, then that stays where it is. And then we discard everything after that digit. So in this case, is that five or more? No, it isn't. So therefore that three stays as it is. So we have one three and we just discard everything after it. If we were to represent this on a number line, we've got 13 here and we've got 14 here. And these are whole numbers. And we've got 13.361 roughly about here. So if you want to round this to the nearest whole, well, which of these whole numbers is the nearest? Well, we can clearly see it's that one that's the nearest, so it's going to be 13. What about this one? We want to round this to the nearest 100. So we've identified the hundreds digit and underlined it, and then we look at the digit after. Is that five or more? Yes, it is, and therefore that six goes up to seven. So we've got five, seven. Now, I did say we could discard everything after it, but the trouble is, if I write nothing after it, then this digit here would no longer be the hundreds digit. So we still need to fill these in with zeros to make sure that this digit here is still the hundreds digit. And it makes sense when you think about a number line. If we look at the sort of hundreds around this, where we've got 5,500, 5,600, these are multiples of 100. 5,700, and we've got the number 5684, which is roughly here. Now, if we want the nearest 100, which of these two 100 is the nearest? It's that one, so it's going to become that. And you can see that we need those zeros on the end, because otherwise 57 is a completely different number to 5,684, and we wouldn't have rounded this at all.